One of the amazing features of Zotero is the ability to use it as you're writing your paper. You can insert in-text citations and build your bibliography as you go. In order for this to work, you need to download the correct word processing plugin from the Zotero website. In order to find that, just go to Zotero's main page at zotero.org, click on the Download Now button, scroll down to where it says Microsoft Word, and then install the correct plugin either for Windows or for the Mac. You will know that the Zotero word processing plugin has been added if, when you're using a PC with Microsoft Word 2007 or newer, you'll see the Zotero icons here in the Add-ins tab. If you're using a Mac with Word 2008, you will find the Zotero tools under the Word Script menu. Note, the Mac icons look slightly different than the PC icons, but the functionality is the same. Now I know these icons are tiny, and that's pretty much my one and only complaint with the software, but once you know what they are and where they are, it's not a big deal. In order to insert an in-text citation, click where you need the citation to be, and then select the Insert Zotero Citation icon. That's the one way over here on the far left. You then select your preferred citation style. In this case, I'm going with APA. Click OK. You are given a search box that lets you enter any information that you know about the citation you're looking for. Maybe keywords from the title, tags, or the author's name. After you've chosen the appropriate citation, you hit Enter on your keyboard. So I am going to go ahead and put in, I know the last name of one of the authors I'm citing is Booth. So I'm going to see that looks like the right one. I'll enter that. Alright, so that enters my in-text citation. You can also enter multiple citations. So I'm going to just type in instruction and include a couple. And then hit enter. And you can see that has included multiple citations for the same idea. If you would like to add a page number or suppress the author's name, like if you've already used the author's name in the sentence, you can click on the citation. First you type in your citation you're looking for. Then you click on the citation. Say I've got a particular page number. And if you want to suppress the author, you just click that box right there. Then click Enter. And as you can see, now it includes the citation with the page. There is another way to insert citations and the way you do that is you'll click on the insert citation icon again but instead of just typing what you need to search you actually click on the Zotero icon here and ask it to show you a classic view. This actually shows you all of your folders or your collections within your Zotero library. This can be really handy if you have a lot of citations and you're not entirely sure what the keyword for the title is or who the author is, but you do know which folder you've put it in and then you can actually go through here and see not only the name full citation but also any notes that you've added. This can be a really convenient way to search for things and insert things into your Word document if you have a lot of stuff in Zotero. To insert citations this way is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is select the folder or collection that has the article you're looking for and then you can select the citation. If you need to add a page number, you can. If you want to suppress the author, you can do that here as well. Or you can just have the plain citation. And there that is. You can also use this to add multiple authors. So again, we'll come back up here, add a citation. Then we will select the classic view. And we're going to say multiple sources. So I'm going to do this one and I'll do that. So you select the citation, click the arrow. These are the ones I want. I don't have specific page numbers. I click OK. All right, then my citations appear. OK, when we first started inserting our citations into the Word document, we were asked to choose a citation style. What happens if you choose the wrong style? Maybe your professor or editor has decided that they need a paper in a completely different style. 
You are not hosed, even if the whole paper is already completed. You can make this change to the citation style by selecting the Set Docs Pref icon here. And here, from here, you can choose whatever the other style you need, and this will apply to your whole document automatically. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have some in-text citations, we can start to build our bibliography. You can do this as you go, or you can wait till the very end. It's truly up to you. Okay, so we'll go to the next page. You can type in references or works cited or whatever your particular citation style asks you to do. Then we go back to the add-ins tab, and there's this middle icon here that says Zotero Insert Bibliography. Just click on that and it will insert everything that you have included as an in-text citation. This is a really, really cool feature because it helps you keep track of your citations so much more easily than if you were doing this manually. You definitely want to still look through the citations and make sure they're cited correctly just because even though Zotero is pretty smart, it doesn't always get things done perfectly. Okay, the final step. After we've done our in-text citations and after we've done the bibliography is to save the document. To enable Word and Zotero to communicate with each other, Zotero inserts codes within your Word document so that your citations can be updated and refreshed as needed. You can tell the codes are in place when you click on an in-text citation or the bibliography and you can see that they are highlighted in gray. Sometimes it's necessary to remove those codes. For example, if a journal editor requests that manuscripts be submitted with no codes, or if you're working with someone who uses a different reference manager. To remove the codes, simply click on the Remove Codes icon. This action cannot be undone, so before doing this, it's a good practice to always save two versions of the document, one with codes intact and one with codes removed. This way, if you want to add more citations to your paper or make any other changes, you can always do so in the version of the document with the code still intact. Now this was a brief overview of how to use Zotero's Cite As You Write feature. It's definitely a huge time saver.